Hey man, I wanted to make this video and say and say thank you to everybody that commented on my shit the other day, you know? That 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 video I made, you know, where I said this is my last video and shit. I wanted to make a video and say I love you and thank you to to everybody that commented on that video and showed me some love, bro. And showed me some support, some support that that I motherfucking need, bro. You know, motherfuckers feel alone in this shit, like for real. Every, every day, I feel alone in this shit. With my mental health issues, my physical health issues. Feel alone in this shit. Ain't got, ain't got nobody. I don't feel like I ain't got no fucking family. Nobody. That, and, and that's cool. That shit is what it, that's cool. You know? Everybody ain't gonna get support in their lifetime. Every, and especially a black motherfucker. You know, I look in the mirror and, you know, I realize why I don't get no support, you know? But... That's beside the point. I just want to make this video and say that if you going through any mental health issues, if you going through any, anything, bro, as, as far as anything, like if, if you, if you battling bipolar disorder, if you battling schizophrenia, if you, if you just, just battling different, having episodes and shit, man, if, if you battling, if, if you're on the spectrum and like, Bruh, I love you, you know? It's a lot of motherfuckers who ain't gonna look out for motherfuckers with mental issues. And it, it ain't cause of... It ain't cause, cause of fear or because they... They don't give a fuck. It's because it's a stigma on people with, with mental health issues. Motherfuckers is taught to avoid us, bruh. Motherfuckers is taught to... Avoid the low hanging fruit of society. You know what I'm saying? Like we, people with mental health issues are viewed as as low hanging fruit. You know, so, ah, uh, you know, that type of shit. So that's why I'm saying, man, if you if you battle with anything or struggle with anything, any mental health issue, man, I love you and I got respect for you, bro. I got a male or female. I love you, and I, I straight got respect for you, like on some on some real shit, on some big dog shit. I respect you as a human. This some human to human shit. I respect you if you got issues, man, and you open with your shit, and you ain't scared to talk about it, and you ain't scared to be yourself with your issues. You know, I respect that. I love you, and to the people out there who are a little more shy, who who might be embarrassed, who might be embarrassed of their mental health issues, don't. Don't don't feel bad, man. Don't feel bad. Everybody done been there before. But eventually, man, I want motherfuckers to come out they shell and just be they self. You know, just be you. If you got issues, if you fucked up in the head, go go get help, my nigga. Don't sit and try to hide it and try to act like you, you know. You know what I'm saying? Act like you, oh, it's all it's all good. I'm straight. It's all it's cool. It's gravy. I'll be good. I'll be good. Like, no, my nigga, go get help. Go talk to somebody, you know? If you need medication, go get on your meds, bro. This is this shit is real. This is it's nothing fake about mental health, bro. This shit is not fake. I've been I've been dealing with this shit since I was a little ass kid. Since my bird died, since my mama died, bro. The IEPs, the the alternative schools, all that shit. You know? I I'm one of the motherfuckers who really deal with this shit, bro. So that's why I say if if you deal with this shit, man, on any level, I love you. I, on some human to human shit, on some on some person to person shit, man. If you deal with this shit, I love you. I got respect for you, bro. Life short as a motherfucker, we gonna die anyway. We we gonna we all gonna get up out of this motherfucker anyway. So so why not just be ourselves, man? Why not accept ourselves? You know, instead of trying to hide this shit, man. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody that that showed me love, man, and commented on them videos, and 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 showed me some support, bro. I needed that from 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 people like my cousin Jalen, man, to people like my cousin Sean, Sean Bo. I love y'all, bro. To people like Bella, you know, people like Goldie, Chris Goldie, my boy AC. I call him ACZ. That's that's the dude who started HL with me. I I love you, my boy, because he been popping up over here, man, making sure I'm straight, making sure I'm good. 
a lot of motherfuckers kind of they they fear coming around me, bro, cause you know it is what it is. But my real niggas, man, they they always there for me, man. They help me through this shit. This is not nothing easy. This is not nothing. This is not nothing that's that's that that go away. You feel me? This is some lifetime shit. Any the, the mental the mental health shit is some lifetime shit. So that's it, man. I don't want to make this video too long or be sitting talking for no twelve minutes. None of that shit, bro. Just know, man. If you suffer from this shit, I love you. And if you're one of them people that that help out and show love to people that suffer with this shit, man. I love you too, man. Everybody, stay up, man. Keep y'all head up, man. It's Fresco signing out.